Imagine after you've had a bike accident, you no longer have to travel to a hospital to get your x-ray done. The ambulance comes and they take the 3D image of your fractured bone where you are. Particle accelerators already have a lot more uses than most people would think. Radiotherapy is actually done using proton accelerators, wastewater treatment, the production of semiconductors. We don't just develop technologies, we also use low energy beams, in particular antimatter beams, to understand the universe better. The main focus of the Quasar Group is to develop cutting-edge beam instrumentation, instruments that can characterize particle beams better than anybody else can do it. The particle beams is very tiny, one-fifth of the width of human hair. You need constant monitoring from point A to point B. So it's kind of a GPS, but for the particle. My area of research focuses on our collaborations with industry. One of the companies that I work with is called Adaptix and what they're interested in doing is bringing a disruptor x-ray device into the kind of healthcare market. This particular technology is a low-dose mobile 3D x-ray scanner. We can spend a PhD or a portion of a postdoc looking into simulations to give them real-world insights into their sector. My project focuses on developing a monitor for laser-driven proton, which we are using to treat cancer. The same radiation which cure cancer can cause cancer. We need to deliver the doses precisely to cover the tumor, not the normal tissue, not the surrounding organs, only the tumor. That is why the monitoring is important. A big challenge at the moment in particle accelerators are that they are very big, they need a lot of energy. So we're looking into ways of how we can shrink particle accelerators, how we can use a different type of technology, in particular plasma, Plasma is a collection of ions and electrons. It's similar to a gas, but superheated. In this way, we can accelerate hundreds of times more than conventional accelerators, but in a much smaller space. All the scientists who work on this, we all care about climate change. We want to push in the right direction so that we can still do our research, but we don't want to be having a large effect on the planet. It's the point where you get to sort of step back and you say, this project actually is addressing a real societal need. The idea that uh, our research could lead into more accessible and effective cancer treatment is incredibly exciting. There's nothing quite like the feeling of when you get that image that you've been waiting months or years for, nothing feels quite as good as that. The Quasar Group is extremely international. We have 18 different nationalities in the group, and that gives just a very unique um, environment. The big questions that we want to address isn't going to be answered by just one group. It's answered by people kind of coming together, sharing their expertise, and eventually coming up with something great. We do rely on very close collaboration with our national and international research partners. And by doing this, we can really push technologies and research beyond the limits.